Commission Foundation is Virginia's leading peer-to-peer -peer recovery community organization. So if you or a loved one is struggling with addiction, let us get you connected. Build your self-esteem and lead you to a solid foundation in your recovery. Check us out. Hi everyone, thank you again for coming. This is um, an amazing event and I'm super proud to be a part of Care Talks. And um, I think it's a God thing. Uh, everything that Richard just talked about is kind of what I'm gonna be talking about. Um, the recovery empowerment piece and how me and my husband that are both in long-term recovery empower our children and try to have prevention in our home for the disease of addiction. So I'm gonna tell a little story and um, I got some statistics too, I'm gonna throw in there to you. But basically, my daughter, when she turned 12 years old, I was literally like, oh crap, she's actually growing up. All I could think about was when I was 12 years old. I was smoking weed, drinking alcohol, and tripping off of LSD and shrooms. And I just had a complete panic, because I didn't really, in all the years of my active addiction, and having this child, she was born in active addiction, I didn't understand like what being a parent was, and what, what being a mother was. And, I didn't even think, to be honest, I'd be alive to see the day that she turned 12. So just panic set in, oh my gosh, is she gonna start smoking weed? Is she gonna start drinking? Is she gonna start tripping on shrooms and LSD? And the worst of all of the panic, it, it would just sunk in, like I wanted to physically throw up. Is she going to use the drug that I used for so many years and fell in love with, heroin? So from that panic and, and the what ifs, what if she starts stealing from her family and friends? What if she overdoses and dies? What if she sells her mind, body, and soul? What if she does all the things that her mommy did? The cool part is my husband's in recovery and I am able to talk to him and share my story with him and we talk about everything. And our marriage is, is growing because of recovery. And I get to show him like my fears and share my fears about A, being a mother and being a mother in recovery. In this world today, the social media and the bullying and everything that goes on outside of just the addiction piece and the drugs and alcohol, it's a scary thing to be someone's parent. So I'm like panicking and, and what if she does this and what if she does that and what if she, he's like, ho, 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 pump the brakes. Like, I can't control what she does. I try to micromanage everything that she did, who she's hanging out with, where is she going, what time is she doing this, and da da da, and just so on and so on. And I didn't have that as a kid. I got to do whatever I wanted to do at a very young age. So I started using drugs at age 12. So in our home, we have an eight year old son as well that's never had to see me use. In our home, we're able to talk about recovery. We're able to talk about our addiction if those questions come up. We have open conversations with our children about what recovery really is. And fortunately for me, my daughter has grown up to be this beautiful young woman right in front of my eyes. And it's because of recovery that I'm able to see these things. It's because of the McShen Foundation taking me in all those years ago and showing me what recovery really is. And seeing my children today raised in the environment of recovery is completely priceless. Um, you know, they get to see love, they get to see hugs. They hear a few F-bombs every now and then, but that's all right. <laughs> I'd rather them hear that than, and then put them in a car and take them to the places that I took my daughter until she was five years old. Um, there are over 400,000 kids in the foster care system today. The statistics say that 32% of the parents of those children have a drug or alcohol addiction. I'm here today to show you, to, to share with you my story on Hopefully my two children don't end up in that system as long as I sustain my personal recovery and my husband sustains his as well. So just say no. That clearly worked. <laughs> you know, my parents just say no, McGruff, the drug dog, I don't even know if they do that dude anymore. Um, 
Like, just say no. Nancy Reagan, just say no. You're going to get locked up. I watched that, um, that history channel, The War on Drugs. I mean, it's phenomenal. It's a four-part thing. Go Google it, Netflix it, whatever. But um, I suggest you to watch that. And, it, and that kind of helped me with my talk tonight. I just remember little Nancy Reagan, just say no to drugs. And um, that didn't work for me. It didn't work for millions of Americans um, that are still you know, suffering with this disease out there now. And I do not use that in my home. I do not tell my children to just say no to drugs. I teach them what recovery is all about. They are raised at McShen. They're with me everywhere that I go. Um, my daughter rocks the smoke and meat, not drug shirts at her high school. You know, recovery is everywhere that we go because I'm fortunate to have such a strong network of people, everybody that I hang out with that is in recovery. So my children get to develop these relationships with people that are kind, loving, real, genuine relationships that aren't fake. And I'm very, very happy for that. I don't want to cry. But my daughter is here tonight, and she is um, now 15 years old. And um, I was fortunate enough to hire her at McShen. She got, you know, the little worker's permit that you get when you're 15. So she gets to see what mommy does on a day-to-day -day um, day -day -day basis, but also she gets to give back to people that are new to recovery. She gets to share with the teenagers and the kids, you know, what life was like with mommy and what life is like with mommy today. I promised myself I wasn't gonna cry. I'm trying not to look at her, but she's so pretty. Uh, <laughs> and if you don't know, she was standing at the door. She's helped with this event. This was like half of her summer was helping put this event on and some other events at McShen. So thank you. She's a, she's a hard worker like her mommy. So why is being a mom in recovery important? Why is sharing our stories important? Because if we don't get out there and share our stories, our, our real life lived experiences, who's gonna do it for us? Like everywhere I go, people know that I'm in recovery. I'm very, very open about my recovery because I know it saved my life and gave me the life with my kids today that I do have. All the stories that you guys are hearing tonight and the, the empowerment piece of what Care Talks is all about, that's what we want you to take with you. We want you to take these stories to your communities, to your home, to your kids, to your grandkids, to whoever wants to hear about solutions to addiction or recovery stories. All of you have a voice and can do that as well. The best part of being a mom in recovery is to be able to have the most deepest relationships that I've ever had with, with humans. And, um, you know, they, when you go home, your husband, wife, kids, they know the real, real, real you. Um, you know, we're great people. You know, I'm not, not saying that, but, what, you know, inside your home, like that's, for me, that's what John will say, the meat and potatoes. That is very, very important to me when I kirk out or pop off. When you, it's a teenage girl, mind you, okay? You're dealing with a lot. But to make those amends immediately and be humble and like actually use the recovery tools in my household, not just at groups or, or out in the public or where I work. It's like that home core recovery values that I instill in my children that, you, that aren't just don't use drugs. There's so much more and so much of who I am is because of recovery. So many just principles and values that I did not learn as a kid. It is my job to break that cycle, to teach my children what love is all about. So when you leave here tonight, please don't go home and say, Johnny, Susie, Ronald, whatever your kid, grandkid's name is, don't say just say no to drugs. Please, please open these conversations in your home in your community, at the doctor's office, rocks and smoke and meat, not drugs. Everywhere I go with that shirt, man, what does that mean? Well, I'm in recovery. And it's either like, huh? 
Or she was like, oh yeah, my sister Sally's blah, blah, blah has been to your program or whatever. And um, recently my son plays a lot of sports and I went to his sports game and, and I'm very, it's like, eh, do I talk? And I'm like, yeah, I talk about it. I mean, you know, you only live once, you know, you gotta share your story. And this woman, because you never know what you're gonna get. And, and I, you know, I'm around some people that are like, ooh, wanna run when I say I'm in recovery from a substance use disorder, you know, and we get talking. I'm like, yeah, I used heroin for nine years. And they're like, oh, crap. Like, who, what the hell? <laughs> and you go to school with my kid? What? Or whatever. And uh, so I was at the baseball field and I was just sharing away. And she was just like, I, just in awe because I was sharing, just being so open about my story. And our stories are powerful. You know, that empowerment piece of these talks, our stories matter. Our lived experience and addiction and recovery matters. You know, so when you leave here, take all of these stories with you. They will be on the YouTube page later on as well. But take them, take them with you, you know? You be that face and voice of recovery. You don't have to be in recovery. I know a ton of advocates, you know, for recovery. I see the sun. Um, <laughs> Um, I, I know a ton of people that speak out, you know, for those with addiction and those in recovery that, that have just been affected. And some people have talked to me all the time that have not even been affected, but they want to learn more. They read the daggone newspaper every single day. They see people dying. So to wrap it up, just say no doesn't work, right? Right. Let's have open conversations about our recovery. And let's be proud of who and what we are, like I do every single day. And I just want to thank all of you for being here. And I want to thank my daughter, Destiny, for being the beautiful creation that God gave me when I didn't have a clue how to even live one day at a time without drugs to where our relationship is today. So I want to thank you for just being patient with me and um, learning what love is really about.